it's always been a passion for me and I'm, I'm so fortunate to have found this particular profession where it was, uh, when I first came into it, it a lot of stuff was, uh, was unfounded. So it's, it's, fast, it's exciting for me discovering new things for the equine industry. Well, one of my passions is, is parrot mouth horses. It's something that I've, that I've worked a bit on and um, discovered some new things for the industry. You know, it's, it's rare these days to find a profession where, where they know everything about, you know. So dentistry is still going so many places. We're learning so much, so many things all the time. And I find that exciting. You know, it's not just a stagnant sort of thing, but we get to help so many horses. And that's, for me, very rewarding. So I was working in England in the polo industry and I was schooling and breaking in youngsters for the Hagel and uh, someone told me that there's a dentist coming and I nearly wet myself. Fortunately for me I was able to see the, the benefits of that and um, it changed everything I did with horses in the training aspect and it really uh, intrigued me to the point where I started to research where I could study and I went to the States and studied there, came back, studied some more in the UK and then moved back home to bring my expertise to, to my home country. So firstly we have a motor, which is what drives the uh, power tools. All it really is, is is an extension of your of your hand. It's just a bit more specific. We can get to the little nooks and crannies and we can balance up the mouth. We've got a nice headlight, safety good glasses, tablet for your dental charts, etc. And pretty much that's it. Yeah, we've got a gag, a speculum, which is uh, what we use to open up the horse's mouth. Okay, we can't look in the mouth properly and work without, safely without a gag. Okay, so this keeps the horse's mouth open. Obviously, the horse is going to be sedated, so he's going to be standing up but sleeping. How are you? Good, thank you. Good, The sedation is the same as us. I mean, no one likes the dentist, no one likes going to the dentist, but at least we understand why we have to do it. Where the horses, unfortunately, don't really understand what we're doing, why we're doing it. It's very invasive and quite, uh, not painful at all, but it's sensitive. You know, it's the, it's the sound, the vibration, etc. So the sedation that Durette's going to give um, is going to be a morphine-based plus a alpha-2. And then we can um, work safely in the mouth with the horse standing there and I can work precisely. That's the most important thing is the horse standing um, nice and calm and we can work precisely in the mouth, not running around a stable with a horse, you know, awake and stressed. The noise affects him a bit more than others. So it's just a little trick we have to try and make it a bit easier for him. You'll see I only spend a couple of seconds on each tooth and I keep moving it around to distribute the, the heat as to not cause any damage to the teeth. But all I'm doing really is taking away the wear that should have occurred naturally um, if he was left in the wild. Basically eating hay out of hay nets, soft green grass, doesn't allow the teeth to wear down as they should do. All the teeth touching nice and evenly. Down the whole side, no sharp points anymore. And what we've got here in the front is a bit seat. So we round, we round the front portion of the upper and lower premolars, and it's right where the bit sits in here. So it's all nice and smooth and comfortable here. Doesn't pinch and cut, so the head carriage is a lot more steady. And they can take the contact of the bit a lot easier. It doesn't pinch and cut them. from a racing perspective, um, like it can actually t uh, shorten their stride, you know, and um, if there's TMJ sensitivities, anything like that, they can, they can stumble and trip. They can be stiff on one ray and loose on the other. It's all sort of teeth related that affect the muscles and the, and the skeleton. There's so many avenues that I work in. We work in racing, jumping, eventing, show jumping, dressage, you name it, all of it. Uh, Western games, polo, polo cross. So, and really the teeth are, are done more or less the same for all sort of um, disciplines, but um, the results that we get certainly help the rider and the horse to be able to do that particular job even better.